Holy smokes, everyone. We're getting an absolute massive warning from a legendary investor himself, second only to Warren Buffett, that is Charlie Munger. He's saying there's a huge, huge problem that's brewing in the commercial real estate sector. And that's something I've been warning people about. We're seeing the huge defaults rising in the commercial real estate sector. We're seeing a lot of these REITs, they're having uh, their withdrawals hit their limits. They're not letting investors get their money out. And he's now saying that this commercial real estate crash which is worse than 2008 because the values are so much higher now is going to be the final nail in the coffin for the banks that are already taking huge losses on their mortgages and also on their bonds so everyone what exactly is charlie munger so worried about why should we pay attention and how is this going to go down well let's not waste any time ladies and gentlemen let's get straight into the news the facts and the data okay run first things first look at this charlie munger reportedly warns of trouble for the u.s commercial real estate market but what exactly is happening in the commercial real estate market that he's so worried about let's dig a bit deeper listen to this the 99 year old investor told financial times the u.s banks are packed with bad loans that will be vulnerable as bad times come and property prices fall so this is exactly what i've been trying to warn about everybody and it's now finally hit the mainstream media which of course reported six months too late that a lot of these commercial real estate properties their prices have plummeted in value now that the vacancy rates are so high now that there's a lot of hybrid working a lot of work from home there's not as much need for commercial real estate space and so these prices have fallen but the banks uh, lent a lot of money uh, to these uh, commercial real estate uh, investment funds when interest rates were at rock bottom and now what's happened interest rates have skyrocketed vacancy rates have skyrocketed so it just doesn't make sense investing in commercial real estate right now munger's warning comes as u.s regulators have asked banks for their best and final takeover offers for first republic by sunday afternoon the latest in what has been a tumultuous period for mid-sized u.s banks so that's exactly right run we're seeing the collapse of silicon valley bank of signature bank and now we've also seen the collapse of first republic bank and you better believe there's going to be a lot of other mid-sized u.s banks that have a lot of loans to these commercial real estate uh, properties and investment funds and they're going to go bad on their books and if we get more downward pressure on these commercial real estate prices it is going to be the final nail in the coffin for the banks so what exactly is charlie munger doing and berkshire hathaway well berkshire hathaway where munger serves as vice chairman has largely stayed on the fringe of the crisis despite its history of supporting american banks through times of turmoil so you better believe charlie munger and berkshire hathaway is not investing in dime in commercial real estate right now they're also very very weary of the banks because of all these loans that are going to go bad munger who's also warren buffett's longtime investment partner suggested the berkshire's restraint is particularly due to risks that could emerge from banks numerous commercial property loans and listen to what he says now a lot of real estate isn't so good anymore munger said we have a lot of troubled office buildings a lot of troubled shopping centers a lot of troubled other properties there's a lot of agony out there and we are in a recession right now everyone and i think we could be facing a depression when things really hit the fan so this is only going to get worse especially with the shopping centers we're seeing um you know theft is rising so much right now that a lot of these big uh, retail chains like walmart etc are leaving communities altogether because it is getting so bad also people's disposable income is going down inflation is eroding their purchasing power so they're not having as much money to spend on discretionary goods and this is going to hurt shopping centers even more but everyone i know we're thinking well okay Hey, what does all this jargon mean for you in simple terms what this means is just like what happened in 2008 a lot of banks lent out money where these loans went bad and the same thing is going to happen with commercial real estate a lot of these mortgages which were sold to investors and other banks are now selling for pennies on the dollar and as the economy is only getting worse unemployment will start to rise we're starting to see more and more layoffs are being announced this is going to be the final nail in the coffin for the banks a lot of these loans on the bank's books are going to go bad and they're going to be scrambling for cash when they can't get their money back from these distressed borrowers so if you thought the worst was over and we're about to go into another raging bull market 
No, people, what I think we're in right now is a calm before the storm, and it's only a matter of time before all these things that are going bad behind the scenes finally come to light. But everyone, what do you think all about all this? What do you think will happen? Let me know down below. Now, for all my law viewers and subscribers to watching, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.